How the heck are you, everybody? I'm Fastidious. Welcome to my channel and welcome to an FAQ video on what the heck is an exclusive guaranteed 250 banner. So I've been playing Watcher of Realms since just a couple weeks after global launch. I have been here for all four now. Lust will be the fourth exclusive 252 summons guaranteed hero banner so i think i'm a good authority on exactly how these banners work i get many many questions especially leading up to them asking how does it work these specific things so i've gathered a little frequently asked questions list i'm just going to answer them break them all down and hopefully give you all the clarity you need so you know exactly the mechanics of this kind of rare but very exciting banner let's get into it Fastidious. Fastidious. Alrighty, friends. So I figure let's read the exact words of Moonton of the devs themselves from the in game event notice, and then I'll address the most frequently asked questions. Invocation of Oath, Legendary Hero Lust is guaranteed within 250 summons. So currently, Lust is the guaranteed exclusive hero. If you're watching this in the future, Everything I will say in this video holds true for all exclusive heroes, all guaranteed banners. Requirements to unlock this event, you need to have a certain account level, have beaten campaign normal 1-9, so on, so on. The event exclusive legendary hero can only be summoned during this event. This means this hero will not then be joining the normal summoning pool. Exclusive heroes are exclusive. They are only available during their exclusive guaranteed banners. While the event is live, base drop rates of heroes within the same rarity will remain the same. However, the drop rates of the following heroes in Invocation of Spirits will be 10 times higher the original rates. So, this is a change on this specific exclusive banner. Uh, it has in the past been there was one rated up legendary, the exclusive hero themselves, and then a rated up epic. Here you can see this is a unique one because we have Lust, who is the exclusive hero. She is on rate up, on a 10x rate up, as well as Arrogance. They have a partner bond. He's another very fantastic, very rare legendary, but not an exclusive legendary, right? He is part of the normal hero pool. Finally, the most important part, Lust, or whatever the exclusive hero, is guaranteed within 250 summons, regardless of any other legendary acquired during these 250 summons. And this is the first question we're going to address, and this is a very key word here, guys, within. She is not guaranteed at 250. She is guaranteed by 250. So let's get to question number one. What is the guarantee? What happens if you pull Lust before 250? So at 250, if you have yet to pull Lust, you are guaranteed that that 250th summon will be Lust. Or for any exclusive hero, any guaranteed hero, you're guaranteed that it will be them. However, the guarantee is you will get them by 250, not at 250. So if you get them before 250, the guarantee was in effect. You got them before 250. Now their guarantee is gone. You're not gonna get them again at 250. So if you pulled Lust or you pull whatever the exclusive hero is at 150, that doesn't mean now you're just 100 summons away from another copy. The guarantee is you get them by your 250th summon. So getting them before then, then now the guarantee has fulfilled itself. You got them before 250. It only kicks in at summon number 250. Now it's, all right, you made it this far without getting them. We guarantee that on this one, it will be them. I hope that clears that up. So the next question is what is gonna happen to the banner after you pull the hero? So after you get the guaranteed hero, after you get the exclusive hero, or after you reach 250, if you had to go that far, what happens to this invocation of Oath banner? Everyone has a different name, but what happens to the exclusive banner? So coming tomorrow, what will happen to the Lust and Arrogance 10X banner once you pull Lust? Nothing, the banner stays here. It's not like now the banner's over, you got your guaranteed exclusive. Now it is functionally a normal special invocation of spirits. So you can see on Friday when we're doing this, so this will come February the 16th. This is starting February the 14th. You can see we're getting a special invocation of spirits on Virna and Silas. It's your normal, no 2X, but a 10X rate up on these featured heroes, these two legendaries, these three epics. That's what this will become. The guarantee has been fulfilled. 
uh, now it's a typical 10x, right? A typical rare summoning crystal based 10x. So the 10x rate up on lust and on arrogance will remain. Uh, and this would be the case for any exclusive hero banner. So exactly that. Functionally, you've got a normal 10x. And let me tell you, if you guys are playing at the time of this video, what a 10x it is. Just fantastic to the absolute best heroes in the game. Next gets into pity questions. How does pity tracking and guarantee tallying work within other banners? So I actually just put a video out about this. This is a hot topic using pities between shared shared pity between different banners to kind of control your fate and get really favorable outcomes. So some things are shared, some things are not. So I'm making a kind of terminology thing here. I'm going to put a phrase out. We're going to say we got pity tracking and guarantee tallying. So while you are summoning within the exclusive banner, every summon adds onto your tally heading towards 250 that will then come into effect at 250 if you have yet to get the exclusive hero. That tally grows when it's 250, you're guaranteed that 250 is that hero. On other banners, during that event, during the Invocation of Oath, if you're not summoning on this banner, on the exclusive banner, you're summoning on other banners, no summons there will count towards your guarantee tallying. That is not shared. What is shared is the pity tracking. So if you are pulling on Invocation of Oath, every pull pushes you towards your typical rare summoning pity. I'll show you that right now. If we go to details, you see pity timer rules. Uh, we're on an Invocation of Spirits. This is your typical rare summoning crystal pity. Uh, you can see it says uh, the pity timer will activate if no legendary hero is summoned after 200 consecutive summons in Invocation of Spirits. This then, uh, if you haven't gotten a legendary, after 200, so starting at 201, your chance increases by 5% every subsequent summon until you've hit a legendary. So obviously by 220, you are guaranteed because 5% times 20 at 220, uh, you will be over 100% chance. So that's when you have your hard guarantee on the legendary. So this pity is very much shared between all banners that use the same summoning currency. So the summoning currency in question here are our rare summoning crystals. So as you pull on the lust banner, the pity you're building there towards your rare pity just to get any legendary, not your guaranteed exclusive legendary, that is building, that is building. That's the same pity that will be shared on the Silas banner. So if you went to the Silas banner and summoned there, that would be the same pity. So if you pulled 50 here, now let's say you're off a fresh pity, you had just pulled a legendary, you'd be 50 into that rare rare pity. If you moved over to Silas and pulled 50 there, you would be 100 towards that rare pity because that pity is shared. I hope that is clear. The thing that is not shared is your tallying toward the guaranteed exclusive hero. So if you did 50 summons on the Lust banner, on the Invocation of Oath, on the exclusive hero banner, then you did 50 on the Silas banner. You would still only be 50 towards your guaranteed tally uh, of getting the guaranteed exclusive at 250. The summons on Silas will not contribute. However, the summons from both of them will both contribute to the shared rare summoning pity. Now, the final question, I went through literally dozens of comments to get these questions together, give it this FAQ format. If you have other questions though, of course, ask me in the comments and I'd be happy, more than happy to answer them. The final question is, does pulling Lust or does pulling the exclusive hero at 250, does hitting that guarantee, does that reset your shared pity, your rare summoning pity? The answer is simple, yes, it does. I've tested it multiple times. I've tested it on my own account. I have many reports from other people. Uh, getting that guarantee, it's really nice because you're guaranteed to get that legendary. However, it will reset your pity. So you'll be back at zero when it comes to tracking your pity timer, right? So that is where some technique comes into play with having interactions between the two banners. Let's say you are 190 summons or 195 summons into pity on the on your general shared rare summoning pity, and then you hit 250 on lust, which you knew 100% chance, regardless of pity, on 250 if you had yet to get her, yet to get the exclusive hero, it was guaranteed to be a legendary, to be that exclusive legendary, to be lust, you would have wasted that pity, right? It would be the same thing if you are at zero pity, or 219. At that point, uh, that is where you need to be very cognizant of tracking your pity, but also keeping an eye on your guaranteed tally. So the optimal situation is to be off a of fresh pity, and that's when you hit number 250 and you get your guaranteed legendary exclusive hero. That's going to be the FAQ, guys. I really, really hope I was super duper clear and then I help anyone for this Lust banner and the Silas banner, but certainly anyone else in the future when, you know, it seems as though about every two months we get a new 
guaranteed legendary exclusive hero and they're pretty awesome heroes and in the case of lust they are shockingly awesome heroes so i really hope this helps guys if you have any more questions again let me know in the comments if you like my stuff like it absolutely hit that notification bell and turn on all notifications subscribe share it with your mother i'll see you in the next one Fast Idiots.